Hi there everyone, I wanted to try out a video in a slightly different format so that's why you, uh, um, you can't see me because I'm behind the camera or behind the laptop rather but I just wanted to give this format a little bit of a go just see how uh, things fare out um, but uh, yeah well after seeing a video on this particular toy thank you very much Beaton yes you know who you are <laughs> I decided to get this myself. Um, it did help that it was on sale at Big Bad Toy Store. And even with uh, the postage, it was cheaper than getting it from other places. And I didn't get customs uh, charged for it either. So, yay. <laughs> Very good. So, what exactly am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about Super 7. Oh, yeah, that's a name that's... Uh, <laughs> um, you either like them or you hate them or... Um, uh, yeah, I do know that they've been not uh, very controversial, but um, yeah, I think there are some things that they've been praised for, and then there's some other things that uh, they haven't really been praised for that much. So yeah, your mileage may vary, but I think this is one of the better ones, at least, um, from their figure range. Uh, to celebrate the... Uh, hang on, 10, 20, 20 yeah, it's 50, yeah, 50, yeah, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of this particular Disney movie, yes, Disney's Robin Hood, I don't know why that mark's on there, but yes, uh, Disney's uh, Robin Hood, Robin Hood, which I've um, only just discovered, um, the R is proper, um, it's supposed to be a capital R, obviously, but the uh, but Hood <laughs> it's completely um, in the logo. There's uh, misspelt the. Um, well, I think it's meant to be part of the logo, but it's it just looks weird um, because the H is lowercase and the D is um, a capital, and that's supposed to be the other way around. The H is supposed to be um, capital, and the D is supposed to be lowercase. But oh well, it's, it, I guess it just helps bring out the logo. I guess anyway. Yes, this is um, Robin Hood obviously from Robin Hood and part of um, Super 7. Just get a uh, look on the back. You've got your um, usual details. For 14 plus. For people of 14 plus. So, yeah, this is definitely definitely not a... Um... Oh, yeah, it says right there. Uh, choking hazard may contain small parts. Adult collectible, not a toy. So, uh, yeah, this is... <laughs> yeah, that, well, it's kind of a toy but it's not meant to be played with in the traditional way obviously because yeah you get loads of small parts and just uh loads of things i don't know if i'm actually going to do a full unboxing but um uh well we'll, we'll see because i know there's a lot to this particular um uh, this particular toy actually let's open it from that side since yeah we're actually kind of, oh, I kind of already opened this already. Not the whole box, but just this box. Uh, just to show my mum what uh, I bought. So yeah, it comes in, it was upside down. <laughs> but yes, it comes in <laughs> another box with plastic. I haven't um, unwrapped yet. Sorry, I've just realised the camera's a bit there. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Not the best surface to film on, but... Um, yeah, I thought just occurred to me I could have actually perhaps um, done this on the side with um, a little table I have. But oh, oh well, like I said, this is just an experiment. It seems to be coming out all right, according to um, what I see from the camera there. So, yeah. Just remove the... Um, ah, thing there. Oh, yeah, this is part of their Ultimate range, apparently. So this is meant to be like old, the, the Ultimate figures, although... That might be, uh, you know, still left to um, interpretation. Um, that's I'm 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 talking completely on my backside. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh dear. Um, uh, left in the eye beholder stuff. That's that's kind of the point I meant. Anyway, twinkle look. You got the Disney logo. You got Super Seven contents figure with accessories. Of course, that's what this is. And we can now open up this. And we can finally, for the first, this is the first time I'm looking at this as well properly. So just, wow. Just take a look at, oh, <laughs> so I'm just getting the thing to one side there. Take a look at that. That is, 
yeah, this is definitely one of their uh, better figures, at least uh, <laughs> in uh, my point of view. So, yeah, we have um, Robin Hood and a whole bunch of accessories. And you might just be able to see that there. I don't know if you can or do you know you can't really from that point. But um, he's supposed to have um, his stalk. It, they're meant to be um, his... Um, legs there but they're part of his stalk disguise he's actually there's a yeah there's a set of extra legs there for his stalk disguise but you can definitely see the head there you got the um feet on stilts of course you got his bow and arrow uh, another bow and arrow you got um it's a quiver i think that's uh, that's what the uh, thing is called to uh, put your arrows in isn't it yeah um you got uh, slightly different uh, quivers there um for green ones and red ones and you've got the gold narrow prize there on the uh, pillow and you got uh <laughs> don't know if you i think you'll be able to just see that there on the box you also get an extra head with um paul robin having a bit of a surprised expression there that uh, of course by default is his uh, smiling head and of course you got a little beaky there as well and um i think underneath yeah you can sort of see um beaten did a uh, actually opened the box and um, showed you a bit more. You actually have a target behind there, and there's a bit of cloth as well. But yeah, that's the cloth that um, Robin wears in his uh, disguise. And you get a set of extra uh, hands there, like uh, yeah, part par, par the course of these things. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, the back you just get a, um, a profile thing. Robin Hood, a cunning and righteous outlaw turned hero as a master of both archery and disguise, he, along with his trusty sidekick Little John, are determined to pull stop to the greedy Prince John and his beloved tax on the poor. He is Nottingham's only hope for justice. Yep, can't be um, any more straightforward than that. And of course the bottom is the usual, blah 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 blah, this is not a toy. Information about where the figure is manufactured. Of course I got mine from America since I got it from BBTS directly, not from Germany. <laughs> Just because, um, yeah, it's going to be one of those where you uh, need, um, oh, <laughs> I was going to say you need scissors or a very strong finger <laughs> in order to, um, I mean, this is probably going to be like a, well, I'm not, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm not going to take the whole figure out, all the accessories, oh, you can definitely see them a lot better now, but I'm just going to show you the um, oh yeah you can see that it's an hour proper target oh that's smudged oh well um but yeah, you can see the target there which i'm guessing you could um oh no it's just design yeah i was gonna say um i thought you might be able to um like detach the whole box and you can actually have a proper target thing you can play with but then again uh, you need arrows, and the arrows, they're a bit small for, <laughs> for something like this. No, it's just a design. That's what it is. It's overall just a design. But we can actually look at the figure proper stuff. Now, that, those was talking about the extra... <laughs> I didn't realise that was what they looked like. some proper turkey or something with the tail feathers and all i know that's not what it is um yeah that's um yes yeah, so you can plug those into the you plug those into the shoes there but you just, but the bottom part's just like, <laughs> i had no idea that's what it looked like it literally does look like some some poor headless turkey wearing a thing and I'm wearing a bomb part of his dress and he got the tail feathers sticking out underneath as well. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think that was what they was. <laughs> I don't think that's what they were trying to do, no. Oh, you also get... Um, I'll show you in a minute, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, again, you get the arrows, um, pair of hands, the head there, the, um, <laughs> the surprised head. I think that's uh, kind of what... That's Robin's reaction to find out what his extra legs look like. <laughs> Oh, but, oh that's just oh that's wonderful uh <clears throat> sorry there's an extra bit underneath i wonder if i can uh probably not but no but that's where um i'll just see so you get a pair of or well, three sets of wings actually so yeah you have uh, different um you got a kind of really grabby sort of uh, set of wings there um a spade set of wings at the bottom that's what you got yeah um where you spray out your hand yeah if i got that wrong i do apologize um but yeah or open hands, that's the open hands, and um, almost 
was that um like this <laughs> these sorts of hands but they're wings obviously so you got the wings there and behind you also get um that's what i'm talking about um from before you got the cloth that uh, he wears over his uh disguise but uh, yeah <laughs> Oh, sorry, those legs. Those legs, honestly. I'm, I'm sorry, that's just... Can I get... Yeah, it, looks like, it just looks like a... That's it, yeah, it looks like a turkey. Oh, it kind of looks like a turkey from this angle, and it's still got its tail feathers on. Oh, but yeah, you plug the... Um, you take the torso part of the main figure, plop it on there, and then these attach to the feet. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to um, do all that now. That's... Uh, now this is just um, an unboxing to see what you can actually get from um, this. But you get quite a bit for um, we get. This was um, on sale at BBTS. This was like um, oh, it was about twenty five dollars. Was it twenty eight dollars? It was. I'd say up between twenty five thirty dollars. Sort of about that. So that's quite a good price for um, something like this. Uh, that's not including postage because I had to pay a bit more since I live in the UK. But uh, yeah, that's. Um, Sorry, I keep showing it this way and I uh, forget, forget my camera's reversed. So now you actually have a proper look at everything. Um, so yeah, just once again, just in case you haven't seen it, there's the wings. You get uh, the three different sets there, which is good. And um, get a bit of, uh, quite a good bit of articulation there. You get the cloth for his disguise. You get his head, <laughs> all beaky there. And you have um, a whole um, a bunch of I just yeah that's must yeah that's must be that Robin's regular bow and arrow and this must be the with the green leaves on it that must be of course the one for his disguise which makes sense and of course you get the actually I'm surprised um you included more wings than um hand, uh, than his um hands I thought or, or paws rather I thought you'd actually get a bit more uh but yeah I can't remember I think there may have been another figure. Um, oh no, I think of Prince John. That was it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, there are two variants that they made of Prince John. One, uh, one which is with a red robe, which is the standard version, and then they recently released a blue robe version, which was an exclusive. Uh, I don't know where it's an exclusive to. It may, it might have been BBTS, or it might be somewhere else. But yeah, um, it's basically the same figure, only his robe's different. Though the robe is, um, it's not an actual separate piece. It's um, part of the figure. But yeah, for this, it's really, uh, <laughs> uh, really quite good. I have to um, say for, for what you get, at least. Yeah, they um, spent quite a bit with the disguise there. But then that's the point of this particular figure. I don't know. Maybe they might um, or have already. Uh, um, I think they may have actually done. Uh, oh, I can't remember now. Or maybe they're planning to um, just release like a bog standard Robin Hood with perhaps a, p a few more heads and maybe some um, hands that can probably go with this figure because it will just basically be the same design except obviously um, with all of the disguise uh, pieces only being exclusive to this one but um, I'm not sure I think this is the bog standard version at the moment but still for what you get that's uh, quite good <laughs> getting those legs Honestly, those those legs did it for me. They really, they really do. I think that's kind of why they decided to obscure it underneath the logo, <laughs> so people won't laugh. I'm probably thinking, what the heck is that? And then you actually look closely, see the belt, thinking, oh, it's part of his disguise. And yeah, <laughs> you kind of get what it is. Uh, let's see if I can get this back in to um, finish off the video. I hope. Oh dear, this is uh, again all unrehearsed, unscripted. Blah blah blah. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Yay, I actually did it. Great. <laughs> Let's just um, sit back up. I'm not going to pop it back in its uh, thing just for a minute. I'm just going to finish off with this since it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> like this. So you can see. Oh, sorry about my uh, computer again. But yeah. Oh, nice, nice close-up of the product there. Can't go wrong then that. Can't go wrong with that. Like I said, completely unscripted. I do apologise. So yeah. That is going to be it for this unboxing video, a literal unboxing video, <laughs> well, kind of, um, of uh, this Robin Hood figure from Super 7. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.